be it resolved by the Electoral College of Louisiana meeting in session this December 14, 2020, that we commend the historic work of President Donald Trump and we proudly cast our votes for him. Louisiana's eight electoral votes officially go to President Trump, but within the hour, Joe Biden cleared the 270 threshold to formalize his victory in the presidential election. Tonight, Kendria LaFleur takes us inside the Electoral College process here in Louisiana, where some electors themselves are questioning the results. Kendria. The eight electors met here inside of the state capitol, and the process took about an hour to make the state's election results final. And the electors did so while also calling into question the presidential results. One by one, the electors made it official, casting their ballots for President Trump. We remember fondly his visit to Louisiana in August 2016, while only a candidate for president. After the tragic shooting of police officers and a 1,000 year flood had ravaged much of South Louisiana, he came knowing that he would win Louisiana whether or not he came. Their support for President Trump was very clear, even in his criticism of the election results. The electors passed a resolution calling on congressional delegations in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Georgia, and Michigan to object to their state's electors. I've been concerned about voter irregularities uh, for about 30 years, and we had lots of voter irregularities this time. And I think the people of America are now waking up to see how many problems we do have with voting. And I'm looking forward to us solving those problems. A handful of President Trump supporters were also on hand to witness the process. Louisiana Secretary of State well aware of the tension over the 2020 election. I could not be more proud of how our staff performed during such difficult circumstances. I am sickened by the calls for violence against election officials across this country. This is not an issue of political party or political correctness. It is an issue of right and wrong, and I denounce any and all calls for violence against election, election officials. Congress officially counts the electoral votes in a joint session January 6th. Reporting in Baton Rouge, Kendra LaFleur, KETC-TV3.